Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. So fall is finally here and I am beyond excited. Fall is my favorite, favorite season. I love the fashion. I love that the temperature is a little bit cooler, but not really, really cold. I love that the leaves are turning color. I just love everything about it. The smells, the spices, everything about fall just screams cozy season and I am here for it. So I definitely wanted to sit down and talk about some of my favorite fall fragrances that are just gonna really make a statement for you this season. It's gonna make you feel nice and cozy and expensive all at the same time. And I also have some newer additions to my fragrance collection that has been taking my fragrance to the next level, which I feel like I need to share. So with that being said, let's jump right into this video. So now that fall is here, I'm taking a step back from like the fresh citrusy and fruity scents and we're kind of like going to like more the woodsy, the ouds, the little, you know, like sultry scents, which is what fall is all about for me. Those are the fragrances that I love. And in the fragrance world, I do love the woodsy, oody end of the spectrum as, as opposed to fruity. So I'm not gonna do a whole bunch of chatting. We're gonna jump right in. And the first thing I'm gonna be sharing with you guys are the new Nest perfume oils. So I just received these in PR. I'm not exactly sure how long they've been out or if they're being spoken about a lot, but I received three scents in PR, but these two have really been just doing it for me and I feel like you guys need them. The first one I'm gonna talk about is the Madagascar Vanilla. So this is what the packaging looks like, I guess, when you first get it. And this is your perfume oil. So I wasn't much into like layering my fragrances or really knew how to wear my fragrances before. You know, you just buy perfume and you just wear it and you go watch your business. But there's such a, a technique to making your perfume last longer. And perfume oil is her. So this is a vanilla perfume oil. And on its own, it's a very, of course, gorgeous, gorgeous scent. However, layered with a fragrance of similar notes or vanilla -y tone really takes it to the next level. So this is a very sweet, cozy vanilla perfume oil. And I just think it will pair perfectly with a lot of the fragrances I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. So this in my collection though, to just put it in like, you know, on the neck, the wrist, behind your knees, in the little crevices of your elbows here, wherever you wanna put it, it is a perfume oil. And when I tell you, the vanilla just has this very warm, cozy scent to it. So I definitely think this is going to be a perfect addition to your fragrance collection this fall. And it's going to allow your perfume to last so much longer. And it's just perfect for layering and all that fun stuff. So we have the Madagascar Vanilla. I'm going to link this down below. I don't even know how much they cost. Again, I just received them in PR and I'm obsessed. Secondly, we have the Turkish Rose. So any fragrance on the market that has Turkish Rose, I'm usually into it, okay? Turkish Rose is a fragrance that I'm very familiar with and I'm just... A huge fan of so when I saw that this came in the box as well I was very excited so again this is the Turkish rose and not much mystery there it is a rose scent so this was definitely a bit more like it's a bit of a stronger smell it's very rosy if you don't like rose this is not your girl I will leave her alone because it's a lot of rose and I'm mixing it with the vanilla because I did that the other day and it really made the, the most gorgeous scent ever. Like mixing it with the vanilla just gives you like another scent. And I find myself wearing these alone also. And I wear these alone also a lot. Sometimes to bed, sometimes out. And I can just smell them all throughout the day. And again, layered with a perfume or a fragrance, it's just going to smell... Just get them, you guys. This is a game changer. This is a game changer for sure. So the vanilla and the Turkish Rose love. Another product I'm going to be sharing with you guys is from a niche fragrance brand called Nashane. I picked two of these up, um, I want to say last year, 
and I always bring them out every fall. So this is actually a hair perfume. Now if you by chance wear hair extensions, whether it's a wig, a sew-in, micro tapes, whatever it is you're wearing, you need to invest in hair perfume. I found this one from a little boutique perfume store in Soho. She has a bunch of niche fragrance brands in there and I love niche fragrance brands. I don't buy them very often because a lot of them are based online and I don't like blind buying fragrances, blah, blah, blah. But when I found her shop or her little boutique store, I was just so happy. So I went with Nishane 100 Silent Ways. Now I did have two, I had a scent called Tuberosa but I gave that to Renee and um, this one I kept for myself. So 100 Silent Ways by Nishane. This scent is actually, I don't even know how to describe her to you. But this just always makes me feel like a million bucks. It's so long lasting. And sometimes I even put the pump if I'm, I'm just wearing it like perfume because it's just that good. But I love to spray this into my hair because I don't know about you guys, but I'm one of those people, my neck, I there's a, a lot of action here, okay? Like when I'm walking, I do a little swish. When I'm turning, oh, me? Are you talking to me? My, my hair is always flashing, especially when it's down. So I don't wanna be doing all of that. I'm ear smell bud. And although you wash your extensions, you guys, they still can have a tendency to smell a little bit weird, no matter how much you wash it. It's just the nature of it. They hold on to smell. If you, if you fry fish, it's gonna be in the weave. If you fry dumpling or whatever you're cooking, it's gonna go in your weave. So it's very important to just have hair perfume because when you hug somebody, you want them to just be greeted by the most amazing smells ever. So I love this fragrance and every time people are asking me like, can I ask what fragrance you're wearing? And I'm just like, oh, it's a niche brand, Nishane. It's called 100 Style Sally Ways. It's to a point where I literally have a picture of this fragrance in my phone so I can just show it to them or airdrop it because I get asked about it so much. And a little goes a long way. Again, I've had this for about a year and this is how much I've used. But it's also more of a warmer scent, so I like to only use it in like the winter time or the fall time. And even right now, you guys, I smell so good. Like it smells so, 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 so good. Oh, and for those of you guys who don't wear extension, you can still wear it also. Like the tuberose I gave to Renee, she used it in her curly hair and it smells amazing. Now let's get into the fragrances. So number one fragrance I have on my list for the fall time and it's my Chanel Chance. This is a very old fragrance of mine but every fall I pull her out and I feel like this season I'm going to definitely finish it because she's on her last drop. Now Chanel Chance I feel like is a little bit like you either hate it or you love it. I on the other hand I really love this fragrance. I don't like to use a lot of this one because she's very very strong. So this is on the more affordable end of fragrances and I will stay true to her. She is definitely a classic and to be quite honest you either hate Chanel Chance or you love it. And I just feel like it's one of those fragrances like it's just you know what you're getting. She's gonna perform. She's gonna last a long time. At least on my skin, I last a very, very, very long time. I wore this a lot in my waitressing days and I just feel like the men were like, you know? And this was definitely a fragrance that I really, really love. Especially very warm and cozy. And it's so funny, this is very, very random, but whenever I like the scent of a person out in public and I ask them what they're wearing, it's always this, literally. It's always this. None of the other fragrances I wear, no one will ever say any of these, but this one, I feel like it's always what they're wearing, either layered with something or on its own, which is so crazy. Every single time I've had the feeling to go and ask somebody like, just wanna say you smell so good, what is it you're wearing? They're like, Chanel Chance. And I'm like, I have that. And I need to wear her more because I don't give her enough credit, but again, I only pull her out in the fall and winter season because she's just definitely a winter fall scent for me. I cannot wear her in the summer. It's just way too strong. Moving on to another fragrance that I feel like is definitely for the fall season and it's my YSL Lieb. You guys know I am a YSL Lieb girly. I usually wear the regular one and this is the intense version. I definitely love this fragrance for just the fall season, the winter season, because the Intense has a little bit more warmth to it. 
I don't know what the exact difference is between this and the regular one. I know that there's maybe like a different note in here. So this wire cell leave, I think you definitely need for this season. One, because it's very affordable, and I just think it's just perfect for the fall season. YSL Leave is definitely like in my top five of most complimented fragrances ever, like to be quite honest. And people who are very into fragrances, they always trying to come for YSL Leave and they say, don't come for her if she didn't send for you, okay? Don't come for her if she didn't send for you. I know it's basic, I know everyone has it, but whatever, but it literally smells differently on everyone. I can spray this on myself and five of us in the same room and I guarantee you in a couple minutes or hour, it's gonna smell like a different fragrance on all of us. And that's why I don't care that it's very popular because it's gonna smell different on everyone. This is just my girl. I love the YSL Leave so much. If I show you my regular bottle, like she's pretty much empty, but this is the one fragrance that I really go through and repurchase time and time again okay and that's saying a lot and again she's not gonna break the bank I feel like I have perfumes that are in the 200 300 dollars range and trust and believe when they're out they're out like I don't I'm not repurchasing them but this one I love and I feel like you know the wires that leave is definitely a part of my signature as a young woman this is one of the scents that I feel like people always know about me. I will, I am a Lieb girl and I just love it. So yeah, so the brown one here is the Lieb Intense and I would recommend this one for the fall time mostly because it just has a little bit more warmth to it. It almost has like a vanilla-y tone and when you mix the Madagascar vanilla with the Lieb, dangerous, dangerous. And also, you know, having the hair perfume in, it just gives you a whole different smell that is just, I don't know, I'm, you can't describe it. And I just love it. So I'm a Lee girl forever. So next up we have the Jo Malone Marantanka Cologne Intense. I know Jo Malone has kind of a bad rap for their fragrances not lasting a long time, which is true about the transparent bottles, like the clear ones. But these ones, the one in the black bottle, the Cologne Intense, I would say definitely invest in these ones because they're gonna last you forever, okay? You can spray it on your clothes and you will smell that on your clothes for ages to come, which I personally don't mind. So yeah, here we have the Murantanka and this is probably my fall signature scent for a date night. So this is more of a nighttime scent, okay? She's elegant. She's sophisticated, she's classy. She wants to be wined and dined. And I love this fragrance for those moments. I have difficulty wearing this fragrance in the daytime. I just feel a little bit like, this is a little bit too hot for the daytime, but it's a perfect nighttime scent. It's very deep, it's rich, and it's long, 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 long lasting. And I'm just, just gonna pop in the Velvet Rose and Oud here. So the Velvet Rose and Oud is also like a really great scent for the fall if you're into rose. Rose can get a little bit annoying, if you ask me, when it's in a fragrance and it's very into this one, but the Oud kind of gives it a different vibe. For me, I don't really like the Velvet Rose and Oud when I spray it, like initially I'm just like, oh, I don't like this rosy scent. But then it dries down to like a really beautiful, like subtle rose and more oudy scent. So I really do love these two. I would not wear them together. No, but I really do love the Jo Malone Intense versions of their colognes. And Marantanka is a staple and the Velvet Rose and Oud, I needed to have her because she just layers really well with other fragrances, which I really, really like. And the final scent I have to share with you guys is just my Delina exclusive. I know not a lot of people really like this fragrance, which is okay. I will admit I go through phases too where I'm just like, oh, I can't and then I'm just like obsessed with it. So I really do love my Delina exclusive for the fall season. I would probably layer a little vanilla to add a little extra warmth to her. But the Lena exclusive had to be on this list because she is just a perfect like, she's just a perfect warm and like cozy girly scent, you know? I, I feel like a lot of warm scents have that like woodsy, like oody kind of vibe. But this, my friend, is like a very good girly version of all of those things. It's like a girly oud fragrance, so I really do like it. 
And I feel like the final fragrance that I would have included is my Tay Noir by Le Labo, but I can't stand her right now, so she's not gonna get included. But I love Le Labo's perfume house. I love the matcha, I love the Tay Noir, but I go through phases with fragrances, and I feel like these are the top contenders, so they had to be included, and they aren't. But again, I, I'm not really, I can't stand them right now, so they're not included, but these ones I feel like are definitely well worth your coins. They're going to be long lasting and if you can get a chance to go in store and smell them, definitely do so, but I love these fragrances. So that's pretty much it for this video and my fall favorite fragrances. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. They all will be linked down below for you, of course, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.